Hey guys, so I'm going to show you today a new plugin for Skylum uh, Luminar Neo, which I made a video about last time because I'm using mostly this now to enhance my astro images uh, compared to Lightroom. So I'm, I'm mostly using this now and they keep adding new stuff and I'm kind of uh, sad because last time I showed you guys the uh, HDR merge plugin but not uh, this new one which is the panorama stitching which is perfect for MQA season. So I'm going to show you guys really quickly how it works. I have so far tried it on just one image and it was fine, but now I just imported a bunch of different images, including nighttime images, and we'll see if it works fine. So uh, exciting stuff. By the way, if you want to get these ones, um, those plugins, you can just go to extras. And if you look at the window here, there's plenty of different um, plugins you can install. And uh, for this specific one, if you go on the website, you can see a bunch of different um, videos and examples here. Uh, but there's no examples of uh, nighttime panorama stitching. So I am uh, a bit scared to try it, but we'll see. So hopefully it works fine on our Mickey Way stuff. So the reason why I am uh, so into this program is because I don't often use Photoshop, as you guys know. And when I do, it's for stuff like panorama or stuff like that. And I know I always have to look up how to do it again because I always forget. I know you have to go to the settings on top and look for panorama something. And I always forget. But here, all we have to do normally is just to grab what we have and throw it in this box. So to start off, we have four Grand Canyon images here from daytime. And as you can see here, they're kind of all over the place. Um, those two are almost identical, for example. But you know what? We don't care. Let's grab all of them at once and throw them in there and we'll see if the program can um, magically stitch them into one panoramic image. So if we click on start, we have four images there. It should um, stitch them. So let's see here. And just like that, in one click, it's done. So it's going to load a bit uh, slow because I'm recording with uh, a camera and uh, my screen as well. So my computer is very slow right now. Uh, but I'm sure it's going to load in just a second. All right, as you can see, it was able to stitch all these four images very uh, easily. So uh, a great panoramic image, including the big sky here. So uh, it also gives you different options on the bottom left, which you can try if you want to have a different type of uh, stitching. But um, usually I think the first one usually is uh, okay. I don't often do panorama, so I'm not sure which one is best anyway. But so far the first one looks great. So for example here, if you want less sky but more of a wide view, you can use this one. Uh, so different ones. Alright, so I'm going to cancel um, because we don't really want to go further with this. It looks fine, this was just a test. And now let's see if we can do nighttime images. So I have four nighttime images taken from the same spot as the Grand Canyon here. So you can see the tree is the same. And we have three tricky images. Be tricky because uh, the foreground is all blurry as I was tracking the Milky Way. So the sky is crisp, but the foreground is all blurry. So will it be able to uh, stitch the three together despite the blurry foreground? We'll see. Let's, uh, let's start with those ones, yeah. Let's do those ones. I just use all three and throw them in here and start. Okay, that was very fast. And you can see the Milky Way here. Um, no problem stitching it. So the the great thing about this is if you are doing a Milky Way panorama, you can do uh, a tracked sky like I was just doing here and uh, stitch that and then do a untracked uh, picture for the foreground, stitch the foreground, and simply combine both. That's very, very simple. And of course, different ones will give you very different results. Look at this one, it's very different. Uh, this one would not be accurate though, so I'm not gonna use that one. This is the most accurate one uh, because of the Milky Way arch. And if you continue, you'll be able to crop the image, so it gives you a, a good crop already. But if you want to take it a bit further, you can. Okay. And um, let's go a bit more to the left and crop. And now we have our final image, which you can then save. And um, if you want to, you can uh, throw it into the edit um, uh, menu here. 
And I've already covered this last time, so I won't do it again. But if you want to know how all these work, including all the AI ones, uh, make sure you watch the uh, other video. But for this one, let's quickly go to presets and see if we can quickly, in one click, enhance this image. And we'll see if one of these can, in can increase uh, how beautiful this image is in just one simple click. So that's a bit too yellow, but it's nice. Oh, that one is nice. And you can then slide this up or down. If we go like this, and we can just save to disk. That's beautiful. And lastly, we have, let's see here, we have um, the Mickey Way at Night from the Grand Canyon. So here, once again, I'm going to just throw them all, oops, I'm going to throw them all in there. And we'll see if it works. Uh, the first time I tried it uh, with those images, it did not work. And then I tried a second time and it worked. So just so you know, you may have to try a couple of times if you have a, if you have an error message, depending on, I'm guessing, which key points the program finds. See, so here it gave me an error uh, because I'm guessing it grabbed some wrong key points. So I will try again. It just says try again. So usually when it says try again, <laughs> Uh, there's no hope, but here we'll just try again and start. Okay, so here it gave me this result, which I can switch once again to see different types of uh, variations. And this one looks pretty good, I would say. Um, but of course, pick the one that's the best for your case. Um, yeah, that would probably be best, actually, the first one here. But yeah, once again, just make sure you try a couple times if it's not walking the first time because it might just pick the wrong points especially at night and uh, yeah so that was pretty much it please be sure to check the first video for uh, all the edit um, things here uh, there's so many things you can do and that's now um, the main program i use after pixinsight to enhance all my images and also the main program i use now for hdr merge and for panorama stitching which i honestly love so we'll uh, have a link below if you want i think we have a coupon for you guys so thank you so much to skylum uh, software for giving us a coupon and um, we hope that this program keeps on growing especially with the ai stuff uh, which usually i'm not all the way in for but in this case the ai stuff is pretty good we also have a return guide for um, this software so check it out and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys. Thank you.